Hey, how's it going YouTube? Venomman20 here tonight. My most commonly asked question is where or why won't my pet alligator eat? I just got an alligator. First and foremost, I don't condone them as pets. I only put pet in my title just so then you all can find my video and hopefully understand, learn about these creatures. Needless to say, any animal that can get 13, 14, 15 foot long should not be a pet unless you have an amazing facility to take care of such an animal. I get offered at least an alligator a week or a month to take in and care for it. and not that many people know me in the whole alligator thing but still people are always offering me alligators. But why won't yours eat? Well you just got him two days ago, a week ago, two weeks ago and he's still not eating. This is normal. Stress in alligators builds up and over time it will kill them. So I'm in Ryan, my cameraman's house and this is his pet alligator. He's holding the camera, otherwise he would be in this video. But uh, as you can see, we're gonna go back inside the, the extra room. This is just a storage room. Go ahead and close the door behind you so we can keep the heat in here. He's got his gator tank set up right here. If you wanna get a good view of that. The reason it's back here, if it was inside the main part of his house, which he would like to be able to see the gator nonstop every single day, which would be awesome, but if it was inside the main part of his house, the people walking by nonstop would stress the gator out. Number one, a lot of you all went out and bought an aquarium for your alligator, because everybody likes a nice aquarium, you know. You can see the aquarium well. It's hot in here. You can see the aquarium, you can see the gator in there, it looks nice. You know, that that's what everybody wants. But it stresses the gator out a lot, being able to see you walking around and everything. So in here, nobody ever comes in here besides Ryan, so the gator can get used to Ryan. Well, and me now, but he's telling him I don't like me. Now one thing you'll notice, he's not hissing. A lot of alligators will be hissing the whole time. But it's because he's content, because it's quiet in here. If you can look down here, he's sleeping underneath his lights. He's comfortable, calm, he's got a nice water area. Um, he's got a good filtration system. He's got everything he needs. He's got good hides. You know, he can go back up inside that corner and feel real comfortable. He can get back up here by this live plant and be real comfortable. So that's two things. You want to totally eliminate stress in any way, shape, or form when you first get him. I mean, after having him for a year, yeah, you can put him out inside your kitchen if that's where you really want him. Uh, have him inside your bedroom, it doesn't really matter. Um, I would always stick towards a large poly tank over an aquarium any day of the week but uh you know you can get a 300 gallon tank for the same price you can get a hundred gallon aquarium so i mean think about the gator not thinking about yourself wanting to view it so anyway the first trick is never feed them liver don't ever feed any gator liver it's too rich it'll make them sick another thing do not feed goldfish or any bait shop fish i know it's easy to go to the bait shop and buy some goldfish or buy some minnows but there are chemicals that they use into the water that will kill your alligator. With this being said, we tonight got this little chick. We get these from Rodent Pro. You can also feed mice, rats, uh, Dabe roaches, Madagascar hissing roaches, any kind of roach that you want to feed. You know, I wouldn't catch one out of your nasty house and feed that. But, uh, you know, any captive bred roach is okay. Um, other fish, if you want to go down the creek and catch a whole crap ton of fish and throw them in there and let them eat them, that's great. Especially into the water. Throw them into the water, leave them alone for two days, see if he catches any and eats them. Uh, you know, you don't have to be there to feed him fish. He'll find them on his own. Another thing, if I'm going to feed him off of these tongs, it's going to build some trust to get him to come to me. So I'm going to want to get low to the ground, as low as I can. I'm going to want to be quiet, which I haven't the whole time. And last but not least, I am going to make a noise that is going to signify feeding time. This will keep him tame and keep him used to this in the long run. After a year, he will know that this means food. He has been fed a lot within the last couple days, so he might not eat tonight. But I dangle it over the water. I can get a little bit closer. I don't move the light, that's going to stress it more. I'm touching the side of his mouth, and he's not interested. Yeah, he's not going to eat. He just seems stressed. 
So there's two things. If he was hungry and he wasn't eating, we could set this up and leave it on the gravel and just leave the room. There's a good chance if he is hungry, he will come up afterwards and grab a hold of it, take to the water and eat it. Um, since we know he's not hungry because he's already obese, um, we're not going to worry about it. Uh, we'll just use this for something else. But make sure there's a good hide in there, a good rock you can get up underneath or a nice dark corner to go to. Keep it out of the main part of your house and wait. And the odds of an alligator starving to death are slim to none unless you keep stressing it out. Uh, you know, you can it can go months. I had a gator go off feed almost a year and finally he ate. He decided it's time to eat again he started eating. A lot of the gators go off feed for winter. You know, it's winter time. They don't eat much of the winter on their natural clock. They understand it's cold out. It's not time to eat, even though the room's 90 degrees. But the hotter you keep the room, the more he's going to eat. Stick away from liver and goldfish. You can feed small pieces of chicken, uh, other types of fish. You can feed uh, rats, mice, whole food items is always best. But anyway, keep fish inside the tank. Uh, Put it up on a landmass and wait for him to come up and get it. That's pretty much it. Make sure you check out my Facebook page and don't forget to subscribe. I'll have a link to my Facebook page directly underneath this video. Thank you for watching guys. Have a good night.